How to write an abstract. Step-by-step -step guide. Writing an abstract. Often when asked to write a report or article you will be required to include an abstract. This is usually a very concise summary of what the article or report is about and is usually placed before the body of your writing. The abstract can be read to get a quick overview. It tells the reader what to expect in your report or article and it should be based on what you have written. An abstract has a particular format that will be outlined in this learning guide. Definition of abstract. The word abstract comes from the Latin abstractum, which means a condensed form of a longer piece of writing. There are two main types of abstract, the descriptive and the informative abstract. The type of abstract you write depends on the discipline area and whether you are reporting on experimental research. Descriptive abstracts The descriptive abstracts are generally used for humanities and social science papers or psychology essays. Most descriptive abstracts have certain key parts in common. They are background purpose particular interest, focus of paper overview of contents, not always included. This type of abstract is usually very short 50 to 100 words. Informative abstracts Informative abstracts are generally used for science, engineering or psychology reports. Most informative abstracts also have key parts in common. They are background aim or purpose of research method used findings or results conclusion each of these parts might consist of one or two sentences. You must get the essence of what your report is about usually in about 200 words. Descriptive abstract versus informative abstract. Descriptive abstract describe the major points of the project while informative abstract informs the audience of essential points of the paper. Descriptive abstract includes the background, purpose and focus of the paper or article but never the methods, results and conclusions. If it is a research paper while informative abstract briefly summarizes the background, purpose, focus, methods, results, findings and conclusions of the full-length paper. Descriptive abstract is most likely used for humanities and social science papers or psychology essays while informative abstracts is concise, usually 10% of the original paper length, often just one paragraph and is most likely used for sciences, engineering or psychology reports. Why do we write abstracts? Abstracts are important parts of academic assignments, most often reports and research papers. The abstract is the last item that you write but the first one people read when they want to have a quick overview of the whole paper. We suggest you leave writing the abstract as your last section. Produce your abstract when you have finished your paper because by then you will have a clear picture of all your findings and conclusions. Why makes a good abstracts? An effective abstract uses one well-developed paragraph that is coherent, concise and clear and is able to stand alone as a unit of information covers all the essential academic elements of the full-length paper, namely the background, purpose, focus, methods, results and conclusions. Contains no information not included in the paper. Is written in plain English and is understandable to a wider audience as well as to your discipline-specific audience. Often uses passive structures in order to report on findings focusing on the issues rather than people uses the language of the original paper often in a more simplified form for the more general reader. Usually does not include any referencing in publications, such as journals, is at the beginning of the text but in academic assignments is placed on a separate preliminary page. Steps for writing an abstract. Number one is first is read your paper or report for an overview. Number two is then read each section and shrink the information in each down to one or two sentences. 
Number 3 is next read these sentences again to ensure that they cover the major points in your paper. Number 4 is ensure you have written something for each of the key points outlined above for either the descriptive or informative abstract. Number 5 is check the word length and further reduce your words if necessary by cutting out unnecessary words or rewriting some of the sentences into a single, more succinct sentence. Number 6 is edit for flow and expression. Example 1. Sample format of descriptive abstract in which key parts are background, purpose and aims and particular focus are identified. There are 56 words in sample format of descriptive abstract for humanity paper. Example 2 Sample format of informative abstract in which key parts are background, purpose and aims, methods, results, conclusions are identified. There are 5200 word in sample format of informative abstract for psychology thesis or article. Example 3 is sample format of informative abstract in which key parts are general background, specific background, knowledge gap, here we show results with key concrete values and meaning of results. Example 4 is sample format of abstract in humanities field in which key parts are given the first sentences provides an overview of the topic of the paper. The second sentence states the thesis of the paper. It is important to notice the use of this paper and abstract should be written in third person present tense. The remaining sentences summarizes the main points of the paper following its organization. The keywords are typed on the net line after the abstract with keywords italicized. Example 5 is sample format of abstract in sciences field in which key parts are given the first sentences explains what was done and why. It is important to notice the use of passive voice thought out the abstract. The first two sentences describes the steps of experiments. After that, the two sentences state the results of experiments followed by the significance of the results. The last sentence states the so what of the procedure. The keywords are typed on the net line after the abstract with keywords italicized. General format of writing an abstract. Title, Times New Roman, 24 font size, bold, all caps, centered, author's name and surname 1, author's name and surname 2 are in 12 font size one along affiliation and email of all cited authors. Abstract. Abstract should be written with 10 font size, times New Roman, single line spacing. Summarize in this section objective, methods and findings. Keywords. This section should contain maximum five words separated by commas. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper thanks for watching.